Well, for the first time in nearly 30 years, the dominant strain of the flu virus is one that is particularly dangerous to children. It is, and doctors are seeing more cases of influenza B over influenza A this year. Chris Six News reporter Seth Kovar joins us now. Seth, doctors tell you that flu B really hits kids hard. It sure does, Katya. The Centers for Disease Control says that 32 kids have died from the flu so far this season eight of them in Texas. Now among them, the majority, 21 of them, had the B strain of the flu. I'm worried about her because I know there's cases where kids have died from the flu. And little Andrina Manning has it. Ariel Tamez got the news today that her only child has influenza A, even though she took precautions. I tried. She got her second flu shot recently and she still ended up catching it. Unfortunately, but fortunately, it's not influenza B. The flu B strain, we haven't really seen this high of cases since the early 90s. For Kim Onufrak at the Corpus Christi Health Department says that's bad news. Kids. Unfortunately, for some reason, the virus is just a stronger, more dominant, and it affects kids a lot. The numbers show it. 21 of the 32 children who died from the flu this season had influenza B. Dr. Anufrak says most of them had something else in common. We have seen eight deaths in Texas this year alone, and the majority of those deaths have been come from unvaccinated children. Vaccinated children like Andrina can still get the flu, but Dr. Anufrak says the shot should lessen the severity of the symptoms. That's good news for Ariel, who's taking care of a sick kid. But how does she avoid getting sick herself? I don't know. I've been wondering that myself. <laughs> I keep hand sanitizer at my bedside, but I mean, I know even that doesn't kill everything. Hand sanitizer is a good option, as is washing your hands often. And there are other obvious things you should do to avoid getting sick. But Dr. Onofrak brought up one that I never even really thought of before. Don't chew on the end of your pen. That might be a habit of yours. Well, the surface it sits on could have the flu virus on it. And then you put it in your mouth. Not good. Got you. Not good. That's all of us here in the newsroom. <laughs> all right. Thanks for that, Seth. And even though flu season typically ends at the end of the spring, doctors still urge you to get your flu shot. Good advice. It really is.